だが決着の後もし俺が正気じゃなかったらお前が俺を殺せる。Sanji's past is one of the saddest things in One Piece. His father tried at all costs to transform him and his brothers into beings completely devoid of emotions and feelings, all with the idea of making them much more powerful. But as we saw throughout the anime, Sanji is without a doubt one of the most emotional characters in the work, and one of his biggest fears was precisely losing his emotions and feelings. Sanji's fear that this would happen to him was so much that he asked his great friend and also great rival Zoro to take his life if he got lost in this journey of keeping his feelings intact. However, as we saw, luckily that didn't happen and Sanji managed to be very useful in the Wano arc. But what if that happens in the future? What if one day Sanji loses his emotions to the point of attacking someone in the pack? What if one day Sanji attacks Nami? Would Zoro kill him? Well, We are going to analyze all this in today's video. Hey, hey, my dear pirates! You are on channel Straw Hats One Piece Theories. So, if you want to be a pirate king like me and achieve eternal glory, go ahead and press the like button with all the power of your devil fruit. And if you're new here, my dear pirate, already subscribe to the channel and don't forget to activate the notifications bell so you don't miss any new video. Okay? Then join this crew that will dominate the entire Grand Line and the New World. Now, without further ado, let's get to this epic video. And well, my dear pirates, finally, the Wano arc is coming to an end within the One Piece anime. Soon we will have the long awaited moment when Luffy will show us Mika's awakening and her new transformation, Gear 5. However, there is a very interesting moment about the Wano arc that was being developed before the Whole Cake arc that is Sanji's past, and as his father, he was a true monster. With the desire to transform human beings into artificial super warriors, Judge Vin Smoke and Dr. Vegapunk were developing studies on the lineage factor. But due to various problems, both scientists went their separate ways, and Judge began to use his own children to continue his research. With that, he managed to develop various types of equipment and genetically modified living beings that could evolve beyond the lineage factor, and his children were his greatest achievements in this regard. Well, almost. One of his sons turned out to be a scientific failure in Judge's view, that son is Sanji. What was revealed to us after all this happened thanks to Sora, Sanji's mother, who ended up dying some time later. That way, Sanji remained with his emotions and feelings practically intact throughout his life until he had contact with the red suit of Germa 66 that was surfacing its hidden powers in the Ark of Wano. However, all that power comes at a price, Sanji felt that his body, His thoughts and his choices were changing. He was getting stronger, but in return, he was getting more aggressive too. Sanji then realized that this was all the effect the red suit was having on him, activating his body and mind to both surrender to the genetic changes made by his father. With that in mind, Sanji asks Zoro to take his life just as the swordsman realizes that he is losing his emotions. But in the end, everything went well and Sanji kept his mind intact, at least for the time being. Yeah, is there a risk of Sanji losing his emotions? Can his hidden powers take control of his body in exchange for his sanity? I ask these questions because seeing Sanji become an enemy for a short period of time would be really interesting. In fact, I thought it would happen in the Whole Cake arc and then the Wano arc, but it seems like Oda didn't want to develop this now. Perhaps this will never actually happen. But having one of the members of the Straw Hats become an enemy to the point of injuring one of his companions, just like he did with Luffy in Whole Cake, only this time with serious and catastrophic results for the crew, would be very interesting. That would be a big breach of expectations, and maybe Oda might be thinking about that for the future of the work. I like to think about that possibility. Can you see Sanji attacking Nami in a truly violent way to the point of wanting to take her life? That would be really impressive. Or who knows, seeing a serious fight between Sanji and Zoro where the swordsman would have to fulfill the promise he made to the cook to take his life. But now I want to know your opinion about everything we commented here today. Do you believe that Sanji may lose his emotions and feelings in the future? Could Sanji attack Nami or Zoro with the real intention of killing them? But of course, if you made it this far, it's because you like the content. 
so it doesn't hurt to subscribe to our channel and become one more member of our fleet, my dear sailor. And of course, do not forget to press the like button that helps a lot in spreading the video and the channel, so help us to become the largest fleet of pirates here on YouTube, okay? A big hug for everyone. And until the next video.